Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Chatting with Charities, uh, where we talk with a different charity or nonprofit every Sunday and find a little bit more about them and what they do on the island and how we as islanders can help that charity. So today I have with me Christian Gallant, and I'm going to let him introduce uh, what charity nonprofit he is with because uh, it's a French name and I just don't want to butcher it. So in respect for the French language, I'm going to pass it over to Christian and he's going to um, beautifully say the name of the organization that he's with. Thank, Hi, you. Thank you so much, Carol. So the organization is La Coopérative de Développement Culturel et Patrimonial de Mont Carmel. So people know us in PEI and in the Atlantic we're organizing the Mont Carmel Summer Concert Series every summer, as well as the Grand Riso Song Festival that takes place in September. Awesome. See, I would have not, I, would, I wouldn't have been able to say that. So thank you. <laughs> no worries, my pleasure. <laughs> um, and so I know that uh, as a nonprofit or charity that you're always looking to fundraise. So can you give us some idea of how, um, well, first of all, let us know if people donate money to your organization, what do you do with that money? Well, what we do with the summer concert series is we produce shows. So every summer we produce shows. Even last year, we had to do the infamous pivoting for COVID-19. <laughs> we pivoted and we presented an online virtual concert series. Um, so our money goes directly back into the artists. That's what we do. We hire local artists. We hire artists from the Atlantic. We even hire Atlant or artists from different parts of Canada, depending on the year. Um, so our money goes directly back into that. Obviously, there is some money that goes into, for example, when it's not COVID year, the sound tech, the venue rental, communications and marketing, all of that fun stuff that goes with it. But it really goes back to benefit these artists in putting bums in seats and having folks discover these talented artists that we have. Awesome. And does the series run like for the whole summer? What are the dates for the series? Yeah, so every year it runs July and August. So the concert series takes place every Sunday night at 7 p.m. Now, uh, last year, and it all depends on the year, right? If we're going to have eight shows or nine shows, it kind of depends. Where does Canada Day fall? Where, you know, do the Sundays fall? Do we have eight Sundays? Do we have nine Sundays during the month of July and August? But that's what people write down on their calendars is, hey, Sunday nights, July and August, the concert series in Mont Carmel is happening. Okay, awesome. And so if people would like to donate, um, first we'll go with ha how they can donate money financially, and then maybe we'll talk about how they could donate in, in other ways, maybe of giving up their time. So let's start with the money. How do you donate money? Sure, so for donating money, I mean, the best and easiest way for everybody is probably an e-transfer. Um, okay. However, if that is not an option, we do have a bank account with credit unions, and we know that credit unions are spread out across PEI, so if Islanders did want to donate, you can most certainly reach out to us. Um, and Carol, we'll post that below the video, but I'll give you our email address, our website, our Facebook, and I'll even give you my cell number so that people can reach out to me directly if they have any questions on that. But we could open up, you know, an account with credit union so that people could just go to the credit union and deposit money in the account if they so choose. Okay, so if people wanna give money, you'll make sure that they're able to do that. And that it goes to artists, absolutely. Um, and so what if people didn't have the means to donate financially? Are there other ways that they can become involved? Absolutely, like our Facebook page, number one, which is just, it's super simple. It is www.facebook.com dot com slash now I have to think because it's a French acronym <laughs> C D P uh oh my god uh I froze I That's rarely okay. do we'll, that we'll post it we'll post it right below this video so I know but I was just gonna say Carol you've done this to me I never freeze people know me I never freeze <laughs> <laughs> so the acronym is facebook.com slash cdcpmc. You'll be able to find us on Facebook 
send us a note. The other thing is you can like our page, then share our posts. That's the best way to help us out is share our posts. And that's easy to do these days. Exactly. Very easy. Um, okay, so I have to admit that I have never heard of this series. So I'm hoping that by doing this, that the other people on PEI who have never heard of this series will actually look it up and, and take part in it and um, and take it in because I know that there's always, especially in the summertime, people like to get out and, and go to uh, entertainment. So um, I'm really looking forward to checking you out and, and sharing your page and taking in some of this music. Hopefully we can do it in person um, by July and August. Fingers crossed. And you know, we always present, obviously last year was a little bit of a traditional year with COVID. Um, but generally, we present anywhere between 32 to 36 acts uh, within the span of eight to nine weeks. Um, last year, obviously, because it was all online, it was a little bit new to everybody. We did one show. So it was one show featuring one artist or group. Um, and something that people should know as well is that it is extremely popular. We do try to keep the price of tickets down and make it affordable for people to attend. Um, and it's it's extremely popular. We have a 200 seater venue and generally it's pretty much at capacity every show, which is amazing. So that's good to know because if you plan on going, you probably should get your tickets early. Yes, and we have our our locals that are our, our, our general public that comes to every show, right? They follow every show. They'll line up, doors open at quarter after six. They're lined up at quarter to six because they have their chair uh, <laughs> where they want to make sure that, you know, there are faithful followers. They want to make sure they get their chair to have that best seat in the house uh, because there is no assigned seating. It's first come, first serve. So, you know, and that's fun to see, right? Seeing people from the community come out checking out new music that maybe they've never heard of before, but to line up with anticipation of what is the show going to include tonight. So it's always a treat to see these folks show up at our venue. Oh, that's awesome. It sounds fun. Uh, okay, well, thank you so much for uh, being with me today and sharing all of this information. And I hope that it was helpful to the Islanders here on PEI. And I hope that you all check out their website and their Facebook page and become involved, take in a show or make a donation or uh, participate in some way. So thank you very much, Christian, for being with us. <clears throat> and thank you guys for listening. And we will see you next Sunday on Chatting with Charities. Take care. <laughs>